Hey there, hope you're having a great day and welcome to the SnowRunner Top 10 video where we will go through my top 10 must use trucks when playing SnowRunner. These are my opinions based on my 275 hours of gameplay, let's plays and tutorials. So it is okay to say, you know, if you don't like any of the trucks listed. Also, please assume that all the upgrades are present and on the trucks where applicable. So without further ado, let's get started. So at number 10 we have the CAT 745C which is a unique vehicle in SnowRunner firstly because it is one of two trucks that has articulated steering the other being the Azov 4220 Antarctic and secondly because the cargo it can carry is actually fairly limited. This truck is suited to two roles, heavy recovery in that it has a fuel tanker giving it an additional 1600 litres of fuel, coupled with its massive torque power and 71 inch tyres letting it pretty much go anywhere. Its other role is a sort of container carrier and wood carrier. At release this truck was able to carry single slot cargo items such as fuel and bricks but it was recently patched to only to be able to carry uh, cargo containers and then again for wood as of phase 3, but rest assured wherever that cargo needs to go, the CAT 745C will get it there. At number 9 we have the Voron Grad. The Voron trucks on the whole I feel get a little overlooked which is a shame because they're really really good, they're excellent. The Voron D and the Voron A have their own strengths but they are pretty much combined when it comes to the Voron Grad providing so much versatility and power making a great truck. It's quick on the roads and it handles mud without problems, and that's obviously when you've got mud tires. It performs well when using a flatbed or towing a trailer using a saddle. It's a great all-rounder and has a pretty good fuel tank. At number 8 we have the Tuz 420 Tatarin. So this is probably most people's favourite scout truck. The Tatarin is the beast from the east. It's an 8 wheel drive, 4 wheel steer and looks like a tank. It goes like a tank. This thing just goes and goes as you can see in the footage. Its stock tires let it go just about anywhere bar icy rocks and its fuel capacity lets it just do it for days. Nothing much stops this aside from the raging rivers of Yukon but that's only because the rivers are deep and unfortunately there's no snorkel for this vehicle. At number 7 we have the CAT CT680. The CAT CT680 is a great early game truck, though its full potential is unleashed once all of its upgrades have been obtained. Like the Voron Grad it's versatile and it's very quick on the roads, although it is a little low riding. There's lots of customization options available for this truck and it unlocks at just level 12. It also looks damn fine towing a trailer using a saddle and is a great truck for working in the Alaska region given its mix of icy roads and snowy mud. At number 6 we have the Yar 86 and this is definitely one of the best scouts in the game. Its 6x6 nature makes it very capable of getting through multiple environments with ease. Unlocked at level 10 and costing only $20,000, which is super cheap, it's an absolute bargain. It can tow a trailer, which is something the Tatarin cannot do, and it can carry enough spare fuel to completely refuel itself, so you very rarely, if ever, get stranded. It has lots of customization options, allowing you to outfit this truck as you need it with either straight mud tires or chunky low pressure tires for snow and even a roof reaching snorkel so it makes a great bow. I'm not actually sure what I can say against this truck to be honest, it is a must have.
At number 5 we have the Pacific P16. Now this truck has limited use but is damn good at what it does. In a similar fashion to the Colob 7476R. The Pacific P16 is obtained for free in Drummond Island, uh, which you can see in the link above. Uh, and it's a wonderful truck that turns, the, turns those daunting oversized cargo missions into cakewalks, especially in Michigan in the early game. In the real world, it was purpose built for logging and massive torque. Through its twin drive axles at the rear, this behemoth lets you rock through any area with ease and coupled by far with one of the best horns in the game plus excellent fuel consumption it's well suited to long haul transport. At number 4 we have the Colob 74760. This unit of a truck has had a turbulent life in SnowRunner. On initial viewing, it looked like it would be the be all and end all of heavy haulers given its size and stature. But its low riding chassis and skid plate made it prone to getting stuck on anything bigger than gravel. However, with the addition of the Yukon DLC, it brought the suspension upgrade for the truck breathing new life into it in the form of the active suspension. This new suspension upgrade allowed you to increase or decrease the ride height of the truck on the go, letting you pass over boulders and other obstacles much more easily and with less frustration. Its massive hauling power was demonstrated in the video linked above as it easily towed a fully loaded super heavy trailer through mud and around sharp corners, up a 1 in 3 icy hill climb and across boulder fields. Number 3 we have the Tega 6436. The Tega, like the Pacific P16, is again one of those early game gems. Obtainable at the very beginning of the game, immediately after you finish the tutorial, as you can see in the link provided, this is one of those forever trucks. Not something you just use once and then store. You will want to use this truck again and again. Mostly because it has those fat claw finger mud tires that not many trucks have access to, and this truck had them first. It's able to push and pull its way through virtually any terrain, this truck is definitely worth getting and keeping, especially for those extra muddy and snowy maps. I'm looking at you drowned lands in a mandra. It's excellent customization and no task is too tricky. At number 2 we have the Western Star Twin Steer 6900, nice. It's personally one of my favourite trucks in the game, I love this truck and have always stood by it even when there was a lot of dislike for it. Yes at one point it did lack all wheel drive unnecessarily for so long but that was added in as part of the Amandra update, thank god. It's capable of moving 4 different cargo at once or one big 4 slot cargo, this truck saves you needing to buy a trailer because essentially a truck trailer combo with 8 wheel drive and 4 wheel steer. This is again another freebie in found in Island Lake in Michigan, see the link, uh, where all you have to do is fix it and refuel it which is super straightforward and simple as the required tools are already in the map. Now we come to number 1, the Azov 64131. Now this is probably my favourite truck in the game and one of the most versatile rigs in the vanilla game. This 8x8 twin steer monster can be outfitted for any task be it small or large. This truck can be gained at the beginning of the game in the same manner as the Tega, see the link, and comes fully capable immediately. It has always on all wheel drive and differential lock, it has great fuel consumption and steady pace, whether or not you're towing a trailer or carrying cargo on the flatbed. Unfortunately it cannot run with a crane plus flatbed and trailer but that seems to be the case with a lot of the better vanilla trucks. 
However, the upcoming Paystar 5600 TS will be capable of seven cargo and a crane, so see the little image here. The Azov 6 has always been the truck I can depend on and has never let me down. It's definitely one to have. Well, that just about concludes my top 10 must-use trucks for SnowRunner. If you found this video insightful, then please leave a comment and a like and uh, let me know what your must-use trucks are down in the comments. And have a great day.